notes, three adults. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, is technology making us lazy? Absolutely. My answer to that is absolutely technology. The very thing that is supposed to make our lives easier is actually making us lazier. Think about it. Everyone here has a smartphone, yes? Yes. You can use that smartphone to do pretty much anything. You can order food, order groceries. Shoot, they got an app for everything nowadays, right? Any shopping you do, Amazon. I mean, you can watch TV now. You can connect your, uh, your, your cable or satellite services to it. You can use your phone for just about anything. So think about how that applies in the house. Even when at home, the technology that we have makes our lives easier, right? So it kind of takes away from the quality of work, the craftsmanship, the time, the effort that we all put into the work. If we're only putting in making our life easier, technically, it takes away from that, that hard work that we put in, right? So everyone here wants quantity over quality nowadays. And the problem with that is it completely takes away with, uh, with our quality of work and our product that we get in the finished product. Now, and there was a study done in the CNN article published in 2012 about how it affects the social skills that teens are having nowadays. In the age group between 18 and 29, the average person within that age group is sending out 88 texts per day versus 17 phone calls per day. A text completely takes away from the emotion. It's easier to text. I'm sorry versus standing in front of somebody and texting or actually saying I'm sorry. It completely takes the emotion away. Which is something else that, that developing in the, your social skills, it's a, it's a necessity. So back on to the other topic. So like I says, nothing says quality than something that's been given time and effort. Ah, game companies have incorporated all the aforementioned, like I said, Hulu, Netflix, and stuff like that, into their networks and consoles. Think about it, if you're playing an Xbox or a PlayStation, you can also shop on Amazon and watch Netflix and even download your new games without ever having to step foot outside your house. Uh, social media. A little bit more on that CNN article. More teens are having social phobias because of lack of personal communication. This means more people are having trouble actually going up and talking to other people because They've gotten used to, you know, talking to other people with texting or phone calls. So, today's day and age, things seem to be getting a lot simpler and even faster. Technological innovations have allowed people to accomplish such feats, but sadly it's taken away from certain aspects of our living. People tend to always want it faster and easier, overlooking the craftsmanship and quality of something that takes time and effort. We no longer take pride on the work most of the time because we don't put much effort into it. Our social skills are lacking. Human interaction helps develop skills that need in order to succeed in life. In another article <laughs> by uh, Keith Wagstaff, our smartphones make us lazy thinkers, and uh, published by NBC, talks about how the rapid growth has only inspired more gadgets and programs to cut corners and make our lives easier. Granted, a lot of the inventions help alleviate the burden of putting in time and effort, but the time and effort helps people give a sense of accomplishment in their tasks. So, when it comes down to it, is technology making us lazier? Absolutely. I mean, think about it. You don't even have to do half the work that, half the hard labor work that we used to be able to do. Construction, um, any of the other manual labors because we have tools and technology for it. So I firmly believe, I think you might be able to jump on board with this. Technology is making us lazy. And that's it. God,